Good morning. Uh, beautiful day on uh, Lake Carmi out here. Going to do some more fishing. I also want to check out the lake. Uh, they installed these bubblers to try and help with uh, some of the uh, blue-green algae booms, uh, the cyanobacteria outbreaks. Uh, so they uh, spent a couple million, I think, to install these giant bubblers in the bottom of the lake in strategic spots to help aerate the lake and get more oxygen in and hopefully cut down these blooms. I was here about a month ago and it was very, the water was dirty. There was a lot of uh, algae and just kind of scum in the water. Uh, a couple of the fish I caught didn't look all that healthy, uh, but judging, it was about a month ago, uh, judging by what I've seen so far, the water has cleared up a lot. Uh, I talked to the uh, steward who was at the boat launch and he said the water is absolutely beautiful. That they're not sure if it is the bubblers or not, but they just made a big difference in uh, how the lake looks, the fishing, uh, the swimming activities, all of that. So uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to head down to uh, the south end of the lake, that's where I was last time, uh, check on the condition of the water and uh, try and catch some fish. Alright, so I made it down to the south end of the lake and before I get fishing, I saw this gentleman letting in with what looks like a harvester. Oh, hang on there. Yeah. The harvester used for weed removal along the shore. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, pulling up weeds. That is a, a really neat looking contraption right there. Must be he goes along the, the, the shoreline with all the camps and cleans up all the all the weeds. If you look along the shore, it is just Pretty much the entire shoreline on this side is camps. That's kind of a neat contraption right there. Okay, so a little bit later uh, in the morning, I'm in this nice back cove, as you can see behind me, ripping uh, some top water on the lily pads, and so far I've got nothing, but I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you the water. The water quality has improved quite a bit. It's really clear now. I can see I'm probably six, seven feet down. Uh, and the water's that, that clear. Uh, so let me turn the camera around and show you uh, what I'm looking at. Uh, you probably can't see down, but I'm in about three, three to four feet worth of water right now. And the last time I was here, this was starting to get a little bit scummy. I guess would be the word for it, you couldn't see the bottom. Uh, so those bubblers that they've put in are actually working really good. Really helps with the, uh, the water clarity. So basically I think I'm fishing in like a, a giant aquarium. First bass of the, uh, of the season, right out of Lake Carmi. We'll get this baby back in. All right, so I just had a couple of visitors that came up to the boat. Oh, there they are, right there. Why, hello, little ones. There's the mama. I think we've got some little beggars here looking for some handouts. I don't, I don't have anything for you guys. I'm sorry. But you are awfully cute. Are you brave? Here comes the mama. So, I think what you're seeing is we are in the right around a state campground. Unfortunately, I think maybe kids, people are feeding the ducks, so they're getting a little used to being fed by people. Not a good thing. But they are awfully cute. Alright, so I was heading back into uh, shore and across the lake I discovered, I believe, is one of those big giant aerator bubblers. 
and that has turned this into an aquarium. See if we can't get up a little bit closer. There is, according to my cheapo Garmin fish finder, there is a lot of fish in this area. So I'll have to find out the name of the company. Put that in the dis description below of what they uh, what they did. But I just think that's kind of neat. All right, so I managed to get up right next to where the uh, bubbles are coming up from the surface. And we're in about 32 feet of water right now. It's like a steady stream of air and I can look over and I see, heading down this way, I think I see like two or three other kind of disturbing disturbances in the water that are probably from these bubblers. But whatever they're doing, it is working. The water's a lot clearer than it has been the last times I've been out here. Okay, thanks for uh, joining me on that trip. A uh, nice little uh, three hours out in the water. Didn't get skunked, caught one nice bass. That was worth it, you know. I guess that's why they call it fishing and not catching. Uh, got to see the bubblers in action. That was kind of neat, basically. So, as I said before, fishing in a large aquarium with the addition of the bubblers has greatly improved the water quality. Well worth it. Uh, visited by a family of ducks. That's kind of neat. And then uh, one other thing I'm going to recommend is uh, I have one of the UPF 50 shirts on. I got this from uh, Gander Outdoors. I forget what the brand is. I can link that down below in the description. The other thing I tried was um, one of these neck gaiters. Uh, I got this is the Worldwide Sportsman that I got from Cabela's. Uh, I just wanted to try it. I see you got a lot of people wearing it. Wasn't sure. You know what if it worked or not uh, absolutely amazing how cool this keeps your neck I was I was shocked with it in addition to having the UPF 50 uh, as I get older I am you know not a young man anymore uh, I tend to worry a little more about skin cancer with the amount of time I'm out in the Sun so uh, I'm not sponsored by any of these companies just giving you an honest review um, I picked, you know, they have a bunch of different designs for these gators, but if you're outdoors a lot, I highly recommend picking up a few of these. Uh, I'm actually going to order a couple more uh, just to have them around. I was, I was amazed at how cool it kept my neck. It, yeah, I was just shocked with it. All right, so we got the, uh, the old MFG is hooked up, and I'm out. Um, but go ahead and give that uh, like button a little tippy tap for me. I would appreciate that. Maybe consider subscribing so you don't miss the next time uh, I post a video, be it uh, discovering some more travels in Vermont on what there is um, to see up here. It's, you know, not just Bernie Sanders. There's a lot to do in Vermont. All right. With that being said, I'm out. Have a great day.